today I'm going to show you how to factory restore an HP laptop. If you have tried everything by scanning your computer for problems or if you're noticing that your CPU is constantly at high usage then this is the video for you. Now in order to do this you have to go into start press down the shift key while clicking on restart and it will bring you to the advanced options menu. Okay, so once you are in the advanced options menu, you will want to go into troubleshoot and then you will want to click on recovery manager. And what this does is it will restart your laptop and open up the HP recovery manager. Once you have accessed the recovery manager, you will want to click on system recovery. When you do click on that, it will ask you if you want to back up your files first before doing this, or if you want to recover without backing up the files. Because we have already backed it up, we are going to recover without backing up the files. Once you click next, it will tell you the recovery process has two phases. There's the recovery preparation and the recovery installation. Please note that when you are doing this, you have to have nothing plugged into the computer at all as it can screw up the process. I've had this happen before, big mistake. So it is very important that you have nothing plugged in. The charger does not count. Once all is confirmed, we can click next, and now the recovery manager is starting. Once the recovery preparation is complete, we can now restart the laptop, and now the recovery installation will start. Once again, do not have anything plugged into the laptop as it can cause problems. During the recovery installation process, you will see that your computer will restart multiple, and I mean multiple times. It is nothing to be alarmed about, but that is just the normal process. Now while the software and drivers are installing, you'll notice that there are two bars. The top bar is the current progress, while the bottom bar is the overall progress. The current progress can either be slow or can be fast but just do not touch the laptop. Now, later in the recovery process, you'll notice that the laptop will log in as administrator automatically. This does not mean that you are free to use the laptop yet. It is still working. Now, after about halfway, you'll notice that a classic Windows setup window will pop up in the top left corner telling you that it's installing softwares. Now, after another while, SysPrep will be working on the desktop, and what SysPrep is, is it is Microsoft System Preparation Tool, which duplicates, tests, and even delivers new installations for the Windows operating system based on an established installation. So, in this case, HP. And we still are not done yet, even though the desktop has loaded up. Now, near the end of the recovery installation, you'll notice that we are on the same window, but rather on a black background. This is another part of the installation, which is actually faster than the first one. Now, you'll notice after a while that there are command prompt lines going crazy. This marks the last part of the recovery procedure. And just like that, the recovery is complete. So now we can click on finish to restart the laptop. And now, just like a brand new laptop, it has been officially restored to factory default. Now, just for kicks, I'm going to reinstall Windows from here, accept the legal stuff. I'm going to skip the step of connecting to the internet for now. 
use Express Settings. And because we do not have an internet connection yet, we are going to be creating a local account. Now, after creating the account, you'll notice that it wants you to register your HP laptop. This is optional, but I am just going to click Next to skip that. Now, once this HP Congratulations window pops up, you have officially restored the laptop to its factory defaults. Thank you for watching. Now, while you are on your computer, a lot of you tend to have problems with it, such as slow performance, a lot of viruses, anything like that. Before you take it to the repair shop or consider buying a new one, come to my website, remotetechassistance.com. While you're there, please download my seven simple secrets to make your computer run faster. It is free, it is simple, and it is also safe. Also, if you do not want to look at the PDF, come to my Remote Tech Assistance channel on YouTube and watch the secrets there. They are also as simple as the PDF file. Just go to remotetechassistance.com. There is a link in the description below.